nice to meet you. I've been waiting for this moment to come out. The best part about being an astronaut is looking back at our home planet. Especially at night, the cities are so bright and so vibrant and so colorful. It is just overwhelmingly beautiful. That is a small part of A Beautiful World, one of the amazing films at OmniFest 2017 at the Science Museum of Minnesota. The film features stunning footage of Earth that was captured by the astronauts on board the International Space Station. And we're so excited to have one of the astronauts featured in the film with us here on Mid Morning, NASA Captain Barry Butch Wilmore with us. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Great this, to be here. Uh, the movie is amazing. Like, you know, I really it is. It. Um, being able to what you can see out of the window with your own eyes, this is as close as you can possibly get to what you can see, uh, what this film does on these, you know, 80, 100 foot screens. It's pretty amazing. It is. And so you grew up in Tennessee. I did. Did you always dream of going into space? Like something... any other kid, I think first I wanted to be a garbage man because they didn't <laughs> have to. pretty cool. Right. Yeah, so, but eventually, yeah, it's something that progression, uh, flew F-18s in the Navy and yeah. test pilot training finally you know, did those things and was finally selected by NASA. I mean, you were a pilot on Space Shuttle Atlantis, right? Yes, sir. Indeed. How about that? Fascinating. I mean, what an opportunity to fly one of our nations, uh, you know, thousands of people across our nation coming together to do these things uh, that uh, only great nations can do, and to be a part of that is very special. The movie A Beautiful Planet, it really focuses on the International Space Space Station. Right. You spent some time there. Yeah, six months. So what is that like? Do you feel like it actually, the movie gives you an idea? I mean, obviously you can't be there and living there, but. As close an idea as you could possibly get without without actually going is what this film does. You know, I, I, I had the opportunity, the timing was great. I video probably 70% of it, so yeah. what I saw with my own eyes and what transfers to the film is, is just spectacular. So they had to train you, right, on they how did. to use this IMAX uh, movie camera. Yeah, new cameras with these really the sensors, just very special sensors where we now can video night scenes, which before we never could, so now we get to see those things that before only astronauts got to see. What did you bring today? Is this oh, it's just my jacket, just yeah. my NASA jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, though. It's fun to look at. Do the patches have any significant meaning? Yeah, this meaning? was uh, the, the space shuttle mission I flew, the, the red patch there, and then that's the replica of the, of the mission that I flew to a space station. Do you wear that out like to the mall? Uh, no. <laughs> I would if I had this jacket. That's I would right. wear it everywhere I went. I am an astronaut. You can see where I have gone. There's certain places you wear it because you know people go to you know if you're if you're speaking or sharing some sure. of the things that we do. You know you want to look like an astronaut, so this lets you look as much as, as an astronaut as possible. Uh, from watching the movie, I was struck by both how large the International Space Station oh, yes. is and how small some of the spaces. On board. Very on. true. The Soyuz rocket, which is our transport to and from right now, is, I mean, it's smaller than between the three of us. I mean, you're shoulder to shoulder. It's cramped. It's very small. But the space station, you get the space station, I mean, it's five, six school bus module mm -hmm. sized uh, modules stuck together. And it's, it's enormous, uh, great deal of room. Do you feel like the training that you get, because you go through a great deal of it beforehand, does right. it actually prepare you for what it's actually like up there? Mm -hmm. Well, it's two and a half years of training wow. prior to launch, and it's pretty intense all around the globe. I mean, everywhere, you know, Japan, Russia, of course, and of course in, in Houston. And yeah, you're well prepared, but as far as the experience of space, no, you can't get that unless you actually go. You're going to be yeah. at the Science Museum of Minnesota. Tonight, yes, tonight, sir. Right. Yes, we're going to show the film, and I'll say a few words exactly. Awesome. Very good. Yeah. Well, the uh, OmniFest is going on now through May 4th, so you can see A Beautiful Planet, which I highly recommend, along with four other movies. Uh, tickets are $9.95, kids who are 4 to 12, it's a buck cheaper. It is a little bit more to visit the museum as well, so you can just go to see the movie or you can go see the museum. Mm -hmm. Ticket information and showtimes at WCCO. Dot com slash links. Thank you so much for coming oh, my in. Pleasure. Great Thank to you meet you. Yeah. It's yeah. always a little exciting to be with a real, someone who <laughs> no, has it's seen. No, super <laughs> exciting. You've seen the planet from Indeed. space. Very oh. amazing. Yeah. Thanks, oh, yeah. Captain. It is.